Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411. Today we're gonna do Scorpio's reading and this is basically whatever comes out, comes out reading. Whatever spirit wants you to know, what you might need to hear is whatever comes out. So go right ahead spirit with your blessing for this reading. Let your will be done in this reading for all Scorpios, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Thank you all so much for being with us in this reading. Clarity, insight, and guidance. Thank you so much. And that was plus. We're going to take it. Um, I did a full moon uh, video last night. It was a beautiful full moon. It's a short, so it's only a minute long. So if you get a chance, check that out. Beautiful, beautiful full moon. And also I did a full moon reading. So if you get a chance, it's a collective reading. Then maybe there's something that you need to hear in that. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the card. Spirit, please bless the cutting of these cards. Let your will be done in this reading. And this is for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> Holy smokes. We got the lovers. Woo! How beautiful. So maybe you're finding a love mate, or if you're not looking for love, maybe you're feeling whole and complete by yourself, marrying the divine masculine, divine feminine within, and feeling that way, feeling like I don't need anything, I don't need anyone, I'm right where I need to be, and that's power, very powerful, but if you are looking for love, you might just get it, you might just meet the one that you're supposed to be with. So this is beautiful for love and finding your perfect match. So we're going to get clarity as we go, but how beautiful for the first bottom of the deck card. Next card out of the gate. First card, we got the queen of swords. So looks like you're in your truth. You're very loyal. You're very, you know, but you're not, you're not about playing games. You're very truthful. And this one you could come to for advice they won't give you or give you their opinion they'll give you the truth over opinion or belief so this one also she doesn't suffer full she'll cut out what does not belong in her life so if you're going to come to this queen you got to come correct because that is a true sword <laughs> bottom of the deck we have the seven of cups so you might have a lot of options a lot of things to choose from so just make sure you're choosing wisely that's why it's awesome to see this queen with you with you making your choices because she would choose correctly for herself she's very clear-headed and she's very sharp and on point so beautiful for making choices bottom of the deck we have this five of pentacles so could be a rocky road relationship that you are in or were in but looks like with this queen you're not either if things don't change and get better you will cut yourself free from this relationship and this really is beneath the queen so you know whoever is with the queen or vice versa you have to you know come up to her level because she will cut this out okay and maybe that's what happened in the past she dealt with situations that weren't up to par with her and she had to cut it out, you know, or move on. Next card, justice. That's what it looks like. You had to leave past situations, make better choices in relationships possibly, but it looks like spirit has your back. This is a justice card. I feel like she's the justice card as well. Both of them have swords up and their crown on, and he has that scale in his hand. This is beautiful karma for you and clarity. So, wow, go right ahead, Scorpios. Two of Pentacles, you might have been juggling, you know, situations, be that in love, be that at work, home life, you would know what you're juggling, but you're handling your business, even though it gets wavy and rocky at times, you're still handling your business, staying balanced while juggling. So <laughs> that's not easy to do, but you're doing it. Next card, you've been very strong. You don't get this card unless you had to be very strong through loss, through breakups, through death, all kinds of things happen in life. And you had to pull your inner strength out, your spiritual strength out to get through the toughest times. And that's what you've done. And so this looks like it was a very tough time for you too. And you are eclipsing that darkness out 
with the light, and I'm so happy for you, Scorpio. You deserve so much better. Next card, we got the Knight of Pentacles, so you might get a, a financial deal, someone coming in to offer you some kind of financial deal. This one takes their time, you know, coming in, but once they come in, it's usually some kind of good deal that you can benefit from, and so you could be going to the next stage or get a new uh, opportunity with money. Nice bring in opportunities. And we got the queen of love. How beautiful. So not only did you get the queen of swords, someone who's very trustworthy and loyal, you also got the most loving queen of the deck. And so this is a perfect balanced queen to me when you have someone very loving and also truthful. You just can't beat that. <laughs> and so this is a perfect combination of a queen. And looks like this could be you or someone you're about to date or you already are with or, you know, maybe it's friends. But all in all, <laughs> you can't lose with those two queens. All right. Those were the first six. Moving on to the next. The death card. So, yeah, I feel like it's the death of what was this situation, the five of pentacles whether you're ending the relationship or making changes for the better and a lot of times we can fix things and end this rocky road situation and go on to better times or it could just be the end to where you're like i'm done with it i can't keep going it's over and so it looks like you were in your ten of pentacles your two of pentacles to the five of pentacles and sometimes we're doing everything we can and it's just not good enough and so that could be the death card or it could be a physical death. If that's the case, my condolences to you and your family and your loved ones. Okay. But it shows how strong you are and how powerful you've been. So I'm very proud of you for that. Next card, four of pentacles. So you might have been holding on to your security for some time, especially after dealing with this situation, the four to the five of pentacles or the five to the four, because it's just like once you've given yourself to situations and you get hurt or things don't work out, it'll take you here. It'll take you to holding on to your security, to your energy, to your time, to your money. And, you know, you just want to make sure that you want to give, receive and open up. You don't want to paint the new person with the old person's like habits or things that they were doing and treat the new person like, you know, the old person, because you deserve better. You deserve true love. And it looks like that's what you have coming in for you right here with the lover's card. So I'm going to keep on going. Next card, wow, six of cups. So this could be a perfect match, someone you're meant to be with. It could be a friend of the past. So you could be hooking up with a friend, you know, very truthful and you very loving or vice versa. And you guys are going to catch up and have a good time together. Or this could just be you all the way live. And then you're going to meet someone of a past life lover. Sometimes this card.